Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Centre Court on this middle Saturday. And in keeping with tradition, the chairman of the All England Club, Philip Brook, has invited guests from the world of sport to the Royal Box. First, let's welcome a quartet of cricketing stars. England's current 2020 captain, who only last week became just the fourth bowler in history to take two test hat-tricks. A left-arm spinner who took more than a thousand first-class wickets and post-retirement is bowling over the world of entertainment. A man who captained England to Ashes' success both at home and down under. And an Indian batsman who retired last year, having scored more international runs than anyone in the history of the game. Please welcome Stuart Broad, Phil Tufnell, Andrew Strauss and Sachin Tendulkar. who leads his club side Harlequins and was made captain of England after just one match. Please welcome Chris Robshaw. Next, we are delighted to be joined by three stars of the ring. A former heavyweight and cruiserweight champion of the world. And two gold medalists from London 2012. One made history as the first ever female Olympic boxing champion. And the other is a super heavyweight champion who claimed Team GB's final gold medal of the Games. It's David Hay, Nicola Adams and Anthony Joshua. to Winters. Please welcome the slider who four years ago became Britain's first individual gold medalist at the Winter Olympics for 30 years. And a woman who succeeded her as the skeleton champion in Sochi earlier this year. And a skier and her guide who conquered the slopes in the Super G to win Britain's first ever Winter Paralympics gold. It's Amy Williams, Lizzie Arnold, Kelly Gallagher and Charlotte Evans. most famous tennis championships, it is only fitting that we should be joined by some stars from racket sports. A squash player who in March became the first English female squash champion since 1999. And from the world of tennis, known as the quad father, he won quad huh? singles gold at the 2004 Paralympics and retained his title four years later in Beijing. The man who earlier this year steered Great Britain into the Davis Cup quarterfinals for the first time since 1986. And Britain's Fed Cup captain, who has been a driving force in developing grassroots tennis in recent years. Please welcome world champion Laura Massaro, Peter Norfolk, Leon Smith and Judy Murray. centre court to greens of a different kind. A teenager who was the top amateur at last year's Open and then a month later became the first Englishman to win the US Amateur Championship title since 1911. And a man who has been Europe's talisman in recent Ryder Cups, never more so than in Medina two years ago when he sparked one of the most amazing comebacks in golfing history. Please welcome Matthew Fitzpatrick and Ian Poulter. part of the next Olympics, but now let's meet some stars, two stars from past games. This man has swam at five Olympics and is a former world, European and Commonwealth champion. He's not a bad dancer either. And a legend who spent his sporting career on top of the water and on top of the podium, becoming a four-time Olympic champion rower. It's Mark Foster and Sir Matthew Pinson. Oh, 
are now two giants from the world of cycling. First, a rider who wrapped up her glittering career in style at London 2012 with a it's second respect. Olympic gold medal. Well, we just saw there winning the first British winner of the Tour de France. That was Bradley Wiggins, and this is a rider who won her, her second Olympic gold in London. Would you please give a welcome to Victoria Pendleton and Sir Bradley Wiggins. Sorry about that, Bradley. And now to two men who have represented both club and country with such distinction. England's all-time record goal scorer and a key member of the 1966 World Cup winning team who also played over 600 games for Manchester United. And a global superstar and sporting ambassador who won 115 England caps, a record for an outfield player, part of a career which included winning titles in four different countries. Please give a centre court welcome to Sir Bobby Charlton and David Beckham. to honour the outstanding contribution made by serving and ex-members of the armed forces, especially poignant in this, the centenary year of the start of the First World War. Here at Wimbledon, we have been privileged to have volunteer military service stewards since 1946, when they helped to re-establish the championship after the Second World War. Many of the service stewards here today have recently served their country on operational duty all over the world, showing their professionalism and dedication in the most demanding of circumstances. To commemorate this occasion and to recognize the continuing support of the families, the Chairman and Championship Committee have invited representatives of the armed forces and their partners into the Royal Box. Would you please show your appreciation for them and all they do and for all of our Royal Box guests.